their men like they got here in America, like they New York. You got brothers rocking them skinny jeans harder than the women. Read on, huh? Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Most of God say neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. It is an abomination. But our people don't care about that. Israel don't care about that. Our women complain about having a good man in their life, but they support gay, gay pride day. Our sisters complain about having a good man in their life, but they support LGBT. Our sisters, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians, they complain about finding a good man, but they support homosexuality. That's abomination, man. That's confusion. What type of man do you want? You want a man with sugar in his tank or you want an austere man? See, our sisters are bogged that just like our damn brothers. Read. Go back to uh, Malachi 4 and 1. See, the most High God coming back to put fire to this place, man. All these GMO restaurants, all these McDonald's, because did you know that McDonald's sells 15% beef? 85% ammonia in that beef. That's what you eat. You eat poison. That's what you eat. Those french fries that you eat is plastic. But our people don't care about that. As long as they feel their bellies. Over here in Taco Bell, don't y'all know y'all eating rats? Y'all eating dead rats? But our people don't care about that. As long as they feel their bellies. Over in the Chinese food restaurants. Y'all don't know that y'all eating dogs? Y'all over there eating flesh? You over there eating plastic rice? Gee. But our people don't care about that. As long as they feel their stomachs. That's why the most high God say, America has to be destroyed. Read. This is the book of Malachi, chapter 4, verse. One, three, for behold, the day cometh that shall burn. That shall what? That shall burn. That shall what? That shall burn. New York, America is going to be burned to smithereens, man, soon. What y'all think these viruses is for? What y'all think this martial law is going to happen for? What you think he preparing y'all for? He's preparing to burn America to the ground. He is warning his people. Come back to your God. Repent or die. That is a choice that your God, and I'm talking to the blacks, the so-called Hispanics, the so-called Native Indians. Repent or be put to death by your God. He is not playing games with his people. He is coming back to put two-thirds of you wicked-ass Negroes to death. Read. That shall burn. That shall what? That shall burn. That shall what? That shall burn. Read. As an oven. So the most high God say this place is going to be like a big cooking pot. A big cooking pot real soon. So that's what's wrong with our people. When the word coming out, they don't want to hear that. They don't want to, they want to hear that we got a job field going on. You see? That's why I see you in slavery, Esau. So that's what's wrong with our people. They bugged out. They don't want to hear the word of the Most High God. They want to hear their next high. That's what's wrong with our people. Give me Isaiah 5 and 20. Because our people walk around here, everybody talking about, I respect homosexuality. But your God say he going to put homosexuals, transgenders, and LGBTs to death. Your God is not playing. He's a so-called black man according to the Bible. He's not playing no games with his people. He is not no blonde hair, blue-eyed, pale-skinned devil. He is a so-called black man. According to the Bible. <coughs> Read this up. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 5, verse 20. Read. Woe unto them that call evil good. What did most I got say? Woe unto them. That call evil good. I respect LGBTs. Woe unto them that call evil good. I love Big Killer Donalds. Woe unto them that call evil good. I support Gay Pride Day. 
Woe unto them that call evil good. It ain't nothing wrong with me to marry Becky the white dog. Woe unto them that call evil good. It ain't nothing wrong with me whoring my sisters out. Woe unto them that call evil good. Sisters say, ain't nothing wrong with me wearing my skinny jeans. Woe unto them that call evil good. Hey. And good evil. And good what? And good evil. It's okay. It's okay to uh, hold my sisters out. And good evil. It's okay to smoke them Swiss sweets. And good evil. It's okay to be game banging against my brother. And good evil. It's okay for my sisters to hold themselves out. And good evil. Read. And put darkness for light. And what? And put darkness for light. Read. And light for darkness. Most of our guys say, what are those who put light for darkness? and darkness for light. Judgment has come to America. The Most High God has brought judgment on this world because we are under the curses. God is going to put two thirds of you wicked Negroes to death. See our brother over there walking with his enemy right now. Our brother over there walking with his oppressors. That's your who? Your nephew going to get put to death. Your nephew going to get put to death. Read. Give me Deuteronomy chapter. Give me Deuteronomy uh, 7 and 3. You walking with your oppressor. Your oppressor going to slavery. That's where you're going. And you going, you won't get put to death for choosing your oppressor over your own people. Give me Deuteronomy 7 and 3. That's a wrong with our people. Bob not like that. You won't get put to death. You won't get put to death. Give me Matthew chapter. Uh, give me Deuteronomy 7 and 3. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 3. Read. Neither shalt thou make marriages with them. What about Sir God say? Neither shalt thou make marriages with them. Well, scratch that. Give me Proverbs 3 and 31. Get ready for, get ready for slavery, Esau. Get ready for slavery. Get ready for slavery. He's going into slavery. He's going into slavery, just like our God say. Read this out. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 3, verse 31. Read. And he going, you going to, he going to slavery, he God going to put you to death for choosing your oppressor over your people. Read. Envy not thou oppressor. That's what God said. Envy not thou oppressor. God said, do not envy your oppressor. Read. And choose none of his way. Choose what? And choose none of his way. What is your nationality? I'm Hispanic. You who? No, no. You what? Ruby. You what? Ruby. Ruby. So what is his father? Um, what is your father? My father? Yeah, what is your father? He's so-called white man? He's Italian. He's what? Italian. He's Italian. That's I'm, your father? Yeah, man. Listen, I'm, I can't, is I that can't your pick, father? I can't. I can't pick. You know? No, no. You know what? Because of the seat, because you are what your father is, this is the judgment because of you are what your father is. Give me Revelation 13 listen, and 9. Listen, listen. This is your judgment. Okay. This is your judgment right. because of what your people did to my people in slavery. I'm sorry. Your people robbed, raped, and murdered God's chosen people. There is a penalty for that. According to the book of Genesis chapter 9 and 6, he said this land cannot be cleansed unless the blood that was shed of your blood has to cleanse this land. That's what the Most High God say. This is your judgment. Listen to your judgment. Be silent and listen to your judgment. Read. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 9. Read. If any man have an ear, let him hear. The Most High God said, if you have an ear, listen. Read. He that leadeth into captivity. He that what? He that leadeth into captivity. Your people led my people into captivity. God's chosen people. I know, but I'm not that bad. Read. Shall go into captivity. Shall what? Shall go into captivity. Shall what? Shall go into captivity. Read. He that killeth with the sword. He that what? He that killeth with the sword. What he did to our people? He that killeth with the sword. What he do to our mama? He that killeth with the sword. What he do to our grandfather? He that killeth with the sword. What he do to our sister? He that killeth with the sword. What he do to our brothers? He that killeth with the sword. What's gonna happen to him? Must be killed. The, the what about that guy say? Must be killed. Hey, the what about that guy say? Must be killed. With the sword. You will be put to death. Ain't and you will be put to death with your enemy for choosing your enemy over your people. That's your judgment. That's your judgment, Esau. That's your judgment. You gonna die with your enemy. 
You're going to die with your enemy. 